I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. Been popping, sports center from a little. This field was home to legends like Bolino and Staubach, the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, and home to the midshipmen of Navy. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number eight team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Navy Midshipmen. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth as always by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Coming out with it, it's Alvarez. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The midshipman offense is on the field to start this game. And the adrenaline. Now the play fake. Pressure coming. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14 yard line. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let them get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. From the 50. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Got the first down and more. He's looking to throw it. Strong pass to snap it just about to reach the end of the quarter. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. So this offense is going to continue to focus on the run. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. Looking for room, it's live. At the 40, there he goes. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. ...in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. Oh, what a cut! The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Well, in a short yardage situation... ...or do you just take the field goal and take the points? And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing.
looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Now they'll run it on the toss. At the 35, he's open. He goes out of bounds, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what this one's about. They want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Oh, he wants it all. It's complete. Takes it to the house. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing the go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy. I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So you know what? Nice throw away. And it's picked off. He'll try to take it back. And the defender is tackled, and that's how we'll run out the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth. Quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive. They'll throw it on first down. Looking for a huge play. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. Big play for the... He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Got some room to run. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. So you come out of the locker room for the second half, and right away, you throw a pick. Bad news, too, because you go into the locker room, you sort of regroup, and you start thinking about how you're going to attack this defense, what adjustments you're going to make. You feel like you got a good plan running out of the locker room, and then to throw a pick right away, man, that is a gut punch. And you probably don't do it too much and don't make a living off it, but when you get a nice little chunk like this, maybe you find another way to give him the football. He's going to take off. This senior quarter one. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They are getting tremendous movement, and they're making life pretty easy. And he was able to work his way for just a few, and that will do it for the third quarter. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame, the submission hold on fourth and goal. They'll try to blast their way in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame! That one pushes this lead out a little bit more here in the fourth, and now they can smell eight straight wins.
They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy slick and getting to a rhythm here, and now they're playing catch-up, and you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the first quarter. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over, and maybe it's been over for a while. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. He's looking to throw. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. There you go. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires on the run. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots, keep trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't do And the quarterback is snowed under. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Got him downfield. Now on the option. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, midshipman! Having a playmaker like that can get the offense out of just about any situation. And no doubt, he can roll right, he can roll left, he can do whatever he wants. He buy time and throw the football, but you have to defend everything. You have to defend pass, you have to defend run, and you have to defend plays that aren't even called. So, good luck stopping this game. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Utah has the lead right now, but this Rice Eccles crowd is motion trying to get the defense to show its hand. Quick toss. He steps out of bounds. Now they're going to throw it into the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown! The they're on the board again, and it looks as if this winning streak is going to continue. You know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Fires into traffic, picked off. Looking for more room. After making the pick, he took it the other way, and he's dragged down at the 19. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two-plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the enemy. On third and long, no secret. Deep shot for the end zone. It's a 
another good decision by the quarterback. You've got to be impressed here. On that one, he finds his tight end, but all game long, whether it's about in the books. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.